What's up guys today's video is on the top 10 best Samsung phones 2022 through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet we needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price performance or it's particular use we've got you covered for more information on the products. I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Tenth place. Galaxy A12. The Galaxy A12 is one of Samsung's most affordable phones, and it's the one to consider if you simply want a phone for all of life's necessities. If you don't want flashy cameras or supercomputer level processing power, this model won't cost you anything. It lacks 5G, but it does have four rear cameras, a 6.5 inch display, and a 5000 mAh battery. Given the specification's generally low demands, that battery should easily last a full day. One of the most noticeable differences between the Galaxy A12 and Samsung's other less expensive phones is the camera. The Galaxy A12 took noticeably better photos than the cheaper Galaxy A03s and Galaxy A02s during CNET's testing, especially in low light. Remember that the A12 only has 32GB of built-in storage, so you'll most likely need to purchase a microSD card. In addition, Samsung recently released the Galaxy A13, which has 5G, more storage, and a sharper 50 megapixel camera and may be worth considering when looking for Samsung Galaxy phones. Ninth place. Galaxy A32 5G. If 5G speeds are your top priority in an Android phone but you don't want to spend a lot of money, Samsung's Galaxy A32 5G is the phone to get. Its low price makes it one of the cheapest 5G enabled Samsung Galaxy phones available right now, and you still get a large 6.5 inch display and a multi camera setup on the back. It doesn't match the overall performance of the S21 line, but it's a good all-arounder for the money. 8th place. Galaxy A42 5G. The A42 5G Android phone is priced slightly lower than the A52, has less RAM, no macro camera, and a lower resolution front-facing camera. It still has 5G connectivity, as well as a larger battery and a slightly larger display, making it a great affordable Samsung phone option for those of you who watch a lot of videos on the go. 7th place. Galaxy Z Flip 3. The Z Flip is a phone that folds in half to become a smaller phone, similar to how the Galaxy Fold is a tablet that folds in half to become a phone. This Samsung Galaxy smartphone has a large 6.7-inch display when open, but fold it in half and it becomes a small square that fits easily into a jeans or jacket pocket. It has a nice design, decent overall specs, and 5G connectivity, and it's a more affordable folding option among Samsung Galaxy phones. Sixth place. Galaxy Z Fold 3. Samsung simultaneously unveiled the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3. The $1,000 Z Flip 3 has a more familiar design, based on clamshell flip phones that have been around for decades. It folds down from a 6.7-inch phone to a square the size and thickness of several coasters stacked. Meanwhile, the Z Fold 3 costs $1,800 and has a futuristic design reminiscent of something from a sci-fi film or TV show like Westworld. The latter, which folds open from a regular phone into a 7.6-inch square tablet, does not have the same love at first sight appeal as the Z Flip 3. This is because Samsung's phone-slash-tablet hybrid design is still novel in comparison to the Flip 3's tried-and-true flip phone motif. The Z Fold 3 is a fantastic tablet, but when folded up, it has the hefty appeal of an air conditioner remote control. Despite its complicated allure, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is an outstanding demonstration of technology and innovation. Whenever I open the phone in public, someone looks at me with a puzzled expression. For the price, you get almost every high-end feature you'd expect from a flagship Android phone. And you had better for $1,800. The few compromises made by Samsung, such as having B-plus cameras instead of A-plus cameras, aren't deal-breakers, but they serve as further reminders that the Z Fold 3's high price tag is due to the phone folding in half. Throughout my time with the Z Fold 3, I kept wondering why the tablet needed to fold in half in the first place. Is there a better way to design a tablet that collapses to the size of a phone? Despite improvements over its predecessors, the Z Fold 3 remains largely a concept in search of a purpose. And I couldn't get away from the underlying quandary. However, if you want a tablet that folds up and fits in your pocket, the Z Fold 3 is well worth considering. It's Samsung's second best foldable phone to date, with the best being the more practical Galaxy Z Flip 3. Fifth place. Galaxy A53 5G. Like last year's Galaxy A52 5G, Samsung's new Galaxy A53 5G has a lot to offer for the price. 
with a 6.5-inch display, a camera with wide, ultra-wide, and macro lenses, and a long battery life, it's easy to forget this phone is only $450, 399 pounds, 699 Australian dollars. This also makes it $50 less expensive than its predecessor, and the Galaxy A53 5G will receive at least four generations of Android updates. It is compatible with all three 5G frequencies, sub 6GHz, C-band, and millimeter wave. There's a lot to like about this phone, but its low price means some sacrifices must be made. Because it is powered by a less powerful processor, you may experience some lag on occasion. The camera isn't as good as the one on a more expensive phone, such as the $800 Galaxy S22 or the Galaxy S21 Fe, which was originally $700 but is now $550 and has a more refined design. However, the Galaxy A53 5G delivers more than enough for the price, especially when compared to the similarly priced iPhone SE, which has a significantly smaller screen and only one rear camera. If you're looking for a solid Android phone for less than $500, the Galaxy A53 5G will not disappoint. Fourth place. Galaxy S21 FE. The first S20 FE wowed us with its performance slash price ratio, and the new Galaxy S21 FE improves on that with a solid triple camera, a vibrant display, and the same powerful processor found in the flagship S21. It has a 6.5-inch screen, making it an excellent choice for those who want a phone that is larger than the regular Galaxy S22 but not as expensive as the Galaxy S22+. Plus. Although it lacks some of the Galaxy S22's features, such as improved night photography and a newer processor, it does have a sharper front-facing camera for selfies and video calls. The Galaxy S21 Fe faces stiff competition from Google's Pixel 6, but if you want a great overall Samsung phone without paying top dollar for the flagships, the S21 Fe is well worth considering. Third place. Galaxy S22. Samsung is going smaller at a time when phones are getting bigger. The Galaxy S22 which will go on sale on February 25th for $800, is the smallest, and cheapest, phone in Samsung's new lineup. It has a 6.1-inch screen, making it slightly smaller than the Galaxy S21 from last year, and is otherwise identical to the Galaxy S22+. Plus. Consider the Galaxy S22 to be a moderate improvement over the Galaxy S21. It has a new processor and a refreshed design, but the camera update is the main attraction. The Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus both have a 50-megapixel main sensor, which improves color and clarity overall. All three new Galaxy phones from Samsung are also better at taking photos in low light. These are welcome enhancements that have made the Galaxy S22 more enjoyable to use. They aren't, however, game-changing updates that bring significant new features to the Galaxy S22. They simply improve most of the things Samsung's phones could do before, particularly photography. Between the Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus, I believe the Plus offers the best balance of screen size and battery life for the majority of users. The Galaxy S22 is ideal for those who want a phone that can be used with one hand or fit into a small pocket. However, be aware that you will have to sacrifice some battery life. Second place. Galaxy S22 Plus. The Galaxy S22 Plus is the Galaxy S22 lineup's middle child, but don't dismiss it. Its 6.6-inch screen size is ideal for most people. It has a sleek new glass and metal design and the camera has been significantly improved over the S21 generation. Although it is a bit pricey at $1,000, it appears to be the best option for those looking for a large but not massive screen paired with one of the best cameras available. Many of the changes made by Samsung to the Galaxy S22 lineup are iterative, such as the phone's new processors and refreshed designs. The most noticeable improvement, however, is the jump from the Galaxy S21's 12-megapixel camera to the S22's 50-megapixel camera. This new camera system, along with other internal camera enhancements, is found in both the Galaxy S22 Plus and regular Galaxy S22, resulting in improved low-light performance, color, and detail. Battery life felt average rather than impressive in our test of Samsung's Galaxy S22 phones. Overall, the Galaxy S22 Plus is the best option for those looking for a high-end phone with a great camera and a large, bright screen. First place. Galaxy S22 Ultra. The $1,200 the Galaxy S22 Ultra is Samsung's most expensive non-folding phone. With its massive 6.8-inch screen and 4-lens camera, it's ideal for those looking for the biggest screen and best camera in a new Samsung phone. Unlike last year's model, the Galaxy S22 Ultra includes Samsung's S Pen stylus for free, just like Samsung's older Galaxy Note devices. 
the Galaxy S22 Ultra is noticeably larger at 6.8 inches than the 6.6-inch Galaxy S22 Plus and 6.1-inch Galaxy S22. One of the main reasons you should choose this phone over Samsung's smaller and less expensive devices is the camera. While all three new Galaxy S22 phones have improved color and contrast and can take better photos in low light, the S22 Ultra is the only one with two telephoto lenses. As a result, the S22 Ultra has the most powerful zoom of any Samsung phone, and possibly any phone at all. It also has the same 108-megapixel main sensor as last year's phone, as well as a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera and two 10-megapixel zoom lenses. The high price and large size of the Galaxy S22 are probably too much for most people, and the battery life could be better. The S22, on the other hand, will not disappoint those who enjoy large screens and require a superior zoom camera as well as the S Pen for taking notes. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later guys.